Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. Step one, uh, cutting your wood. So making sure you're choosing the right hardwood and long planks that are going to be nice and solid. You want these planks of wood to be at least uh, 2.5 meters long. You're going to have the fabricated metal in the middle there and then connected on each of the corners so that'll keep it nice and sturdy. A little bit of limestone to mark out where the tires are going to sit and then we'll start digging. These are just going to be the central tires for the four-way seesaw. So here you can see we're opening up these uh, tires just to get to that metal center there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. That will then make it really easy to open these pieces up. Fabricated pieces have just arrived, painted with a beautiful anti-rust. We usually go with a kind of dull red, but these guys had a nice bright blue that they used. So you want to make sure that all of your metal pieces that the uh, timber is sitting on is going to be lined up at right angles to each other, or parallel or the opposite. Make sure you've got your wood on top bolted in, and then you can start cementing. Now we're just attaching the bumpers to the bottoms of each part of the seesaw. So these are just going to make sure that when the seesaw goes down, it's not going to hit on any kid's feet and give it that nice suspension, really. Uh, a little bounce when it hits the bottom. Now we're just chucking a coat of paint onto the seesaw inner pieces to brighten the whole space up and get everyone involved with this part because it's a lot of fun. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook, which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org, which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch, so check them out here.